Hey guys, today I will show you a 2024 action comedy movie called Deadpool and Wolverine. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Deadpool heads straight to the location where Wolverine is buried. He begins digging up the grave, searching for Wolverine. He hopes that Wolverine will still be alive, but as he unearths the body, he finds that Wolverine is completely dead because he has become a skeleton. Seeing this, Deadpool is utterly disappointed, but he sits down with the skeleton and begins talking to it. During their conversation, many TVA portals open up and numerous TVA agents emerge, attempting to catch Deadpool. If you don't know what the TVA is, I will explain it to you. TVA stands for the Time Variance Authority. The TVA is an organization that monitors and manages the timeline of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Their primary role of it is to ensure that the timeline remains stable and free from deviations, which they refer to as variants. These variants can be individuals, events, or actions that cause branches in the timeline, potentially leading to chaos or alternate realities. The TVA operates under the guidance of the timekeepers, mysterious beings who are said to have created the sacred timeline. They employ agents to track down and prune these variants, either by resetting the timeline or removing the variant from existence. The TVA's headquarters exists outside of normal time and space, giving them a unique perspective and authority over the flow of time in the MCU. Back to the movie, however, being Deadpool, he fights fiercely and kills the agents brutally. After killing them and talks to the audience again, he says, I know that whatever is going on here, you must not understand it. You might be wondering how I am here, why I need Wolverine, why I am looking for him, and why the TVA people want to catch me. To explain all this, Deadpool takes us to the past, to 2018, when Cable's time machine device broke down. But as that time machine device was repaired, Deadpool took it in his hands and started using it, going to the past with its help and killing all his past villains. To save his friend Vanessa, he killed her killer and saved Vanessa. But it turned out that using the time machine device in this way caused problems in the timelines. Because of this, the TVA got into action and started looking for Deadpool. However, Deadpool was happy in his life because he saved Vanessa and gathered all his friends. Here we saw Deadpool use that device and go to Earth-616, which is the main MCU universe. There he asked Happy to make him an Avenger, but when he refused, Deadpool returned to his universe and started living a normal life. One night, his friends were celebrating Deadpool's birthday, but then the TVA agents came to the door. When Deadpool went to check, they grabbed him, dragged him into their portal, and brought him straight to the TVA. At the TVA, Deadpool meets an officer named Paradox. He explains to Deadpool what the TVA is and how it works. After hearing this, Deadpool realizes that the TVA brought him here because he made a mistake in the timelines by using a time machine device. Here, Paradox gives Deadpool an offer, saying, look, I am an officer of the TVA, and my seniors who run the TVA want you to go to the MCU universe, Earth-616. So you do this, go to Earth-616 and spend the rest of your life there. After hearing this, Deadpool becomes happy because he also wanted to go to Earth-616 and become an Avenger there. So now he is thinking that maybe his dream will come true. He is also very excited, so he gets his Deadpool suit made by the TVA tailor and gets ready. At this time, he is given two swords. Fully dressed, Deadpool comes to Paradox. He says, send me directly to my universe so I can tell my friends that I'm going to Earth 616 for a while to show that I am a diamond. Now, Paradox refuses Deadpool's request. He says, there's no point in going to your universe now because it's gradually coming to an end. He also tells Deadpool that his universe is the one where Logan died. Paradox says that his universe has been destroyed so much that it will be completely destroyed in just three days. So now there is no point in going back to that universe. But Deadpool asks why this is happening. Then Paradox tells him that the power of his universe is gone. Paradox explains that every universe has a power, and when that power is gone, the universe also slowly ends. If we talk about Deadpool's universe, the reason it is ending is that the power of his universe was Logan. Because of Logan's death, the universe is also dying. Hearing this, Deadpool tells Paradox that he has to stop this destruction somehow. Hearing this, Paradox says, what are you saying? Should I stop the destruction? I don't want this destruction to stop. I want to let it happen. Saying this, he also shows Deadpool a machine named the Time Reaper machine. Paradox tells him that this machine can destroy any universe in the blink of an eye. Then Paradox tells him that whenever a universe is ending, the TVA lets it end slowly. But he doesn't enjoy this. He wants the universe to be destroyed in the blink of an eye, like a tree is cut from the root 
and thrown away. Paradox then says, this is the reason why I made this Time Reaper machine myself, so that the universes that are slowly ending can be destroyed in the blink of an eye. Now this machine is not ready yet, but as soon as it is completely ready, I will destroy your universe too. So now, as per my seniors, you go to Earth 616 and forget your old universe. Hearing all this, Deadpool becomes furious. He thinks that if the power of his universe is Logan, then he will find another Wolverine and bring him to his universe so that the power remains and nothing happens to his universe. Thinking this, Deadpool beats Paradox severely, takes the device from him. Deadpool creates a portal, escapes, and begins searching for Wolverine. The flashback ends and the story returns to where Deadpool is fighting the TVA agents, brutally killing everyone. Once again, Wolverine's search begins. Deadpool goes to many universes to find Wolverine. He meets many different Wolverines. Some of them are as short as Wolverine, some have no hands or eyes, and one is a superhero version of Wolverine. Even Deadpool does not like this. He also beats Deadpool and drives him away. Then Deadpool goes to a bar where a Wolverine is sitting. Deadpool likes this Wolverine to a great extent. He thinks that this is perfect for him. He can take this Wolverine to his universe. But when Deadpool asks him to come with him, this Wolverine also refuses. However, when Wolverine faints after drinking alcohol, creates a portal and brings Wolverine directly to the TVA. He took Wolverine to Paradox. He tells him, look, I have brought another Wolverine. Now do one thing, send us back to my universe and make this Wolverine the power of my universe so that it does not end. When Paradox sees Wolverine, he says, this Wolverine is the worst. Because of him, all the people in his universe have been killed, so he can't be the power of your universe. Also, the seniors at the TBA gave you a chance to go to Earth 616 so you could have lived there, but you wronged the TBA by killing a lot of their agents. So now I will send both of you inside the new world. The next moment, Paradox does the same, sending both of them inside the new world. When Wolverine comes to his senses, he asks Deadpool, why did you bring me here? Saying this, he attacks Deadpool, and their fight begins. Their fight goes on for an amazingly long time, but then Deadpool stops him and says, we should not fight but work together because the TVA wants to end my universe, and we have to save it. Wolverine refuses to help him. Deadpool tells him that the TVA has the power to revive his universe. So if he helps, they won't just save my universe from ending, but they'll also bring yours destroyed universe back to life. He likes this idea, so they join forces. Then a man comes to them and tells them that it is not safe to roam here because there is a very dangerous, huge monster. If it sees you, it will eat you. And if you escape from it, there is a hairless witch named Cassandra. She is so powerful that she can kill you in one shot, so it is difficult to escape from these two things. Then some cars arrive, containing Cassandra's people. Seeing them, the third man also joins Deadpool and Wolverine. When he removes the cloth from his face, it is revealed that this man is none other than Captain America, who at this time takes the form of Human Torch. Cassandra's men come directly in front of them. An old man who is very powerful steps forward to attack them, but Wolverine kills him in one shot. Because Cassandra's men have a lot of advanced technology, they weaken the Human Torch, capture them, tie them with ropes, and start taking them straight to Cassandra. We see that Cassandra's place is in the mouth of a very large Ant-Man. Cassandra has many men who have been serving her for years, including a version of Juggernaut, who is also in her service. When these three are brought in, Cassandra comes to meet them. Deadpool tells her, the Human Torch already told us about you. You're a crazy woman without hair who looks like a witch. He says Cassandra is even worse and adds that the Human Torch told them everything. Hearing this, Cassandra becomes furious. She pulls the skin off the Human Torch in one shot with her power, and he dies on the spot. After that, she tells Deadpool and Wolverine her name and says, I am the twin sister of Professor Charles Xavier. Before we were even born, I tried to kill my brother. But when we were born, he tried to kill me. But I survived. After that, the TVA people threw me here. But I am very happy. I have been living here for years and now I will make both of you my slaves. Hearing this, Wolverine gets angry and goes straight to attack Cassandra, but without touching him, she beats Wolverine and throws him to the ground. Then the monster arrives. Seeing it, Cassandra says, you're not my slave, are you? So I'm leaving you to die at the hands of this monster. Saying this, she leaves with her companions. The monster slowly approaches both of them, but Deadpool and Wolverine activate a nearby machine and fly far away with its help. In this faraway place, they see a dog, which is the version of Deadpool's dog, Dogpool. Along with that, a version of Deadpool also comes, who introduces himself as Nicepool. He tells them that there are many other versions of Deadpool like him, but they are all crazy people from whom Cassandra gets her work done. 
This means they are her slaves. Nice Pool gives them his car and says, take this so you don't have a hard time getting out of here. Deadpool and Wolverine take the car and drive away, but they end up arguing during the ride. They start hitting each other, and because they are tired of fighting, they faint. Then we see that X-23 arrives and takes them both in the car. As Deadpool and Wolverine open their eyes, they find themselves in a house where Elektra, Blade, Gambit, and X-23 come to meet them and tell them that X-23 brought them here. All of them were also sent to this universe by the TVA people after being knocked out, and Human Torch was also their companion. When these four find out that they have come back alive from Cassandra, they realize that Deadpool and Wolverine are really very powerful. So they make a plan to form a group and finish Cassandra because she has wreaked havoc in this whole universe. Now they become a team and make all their preparations. They sit in the car and leave to kill Cassandra. They reach the location and go inside, but are immediately confronted by all of Cassandra's slaves. So a dangerous fight breaks out between them. The other four keep the rest outside, while Deadpool and Wolverine go inside to catch Cassandra. Before coming here, they made all their plans. They knew they could fight as much as they wanted, but Cassandra was so powerful that she could easily crush them. She could finish them off with her psychic power, and if they wanted to stop her from using her power, they would need to wear Magneto's helmet. Cassandra also knew this, so when Magneto's helmet came to Earth, Cassandra destroyed it. Deadpool has an idea and says, instead of Magneto's helmet, Let's use the helmet of Juggernaut, who was one of Cassandra's slaves. Now they have to somehow get the helmet off Juggernaut and make Cassandra wear it, which will make her unable to use her powers, and then they will finish her. During the fight, X-23 cuts Juggernaut's leg and throws his helmet, which goes straight to Deadpool. The two confuse Cassandra with their talk, and Deadpool takes advantage of this and puts the helmet on her head. She is unable to use her powers, but before they kill her, they see that one of Cassandra's people is trying to shoot her. While shooting, he says, I was waiting for this moment, that one day I would kill you, Cassandra. Then he shoots, but Wolverine kills that man. Cassandra is dying in front of Deadpool and Wolverine. That's when Wolverine explains to her that even if she hates her brother Charles Xavier, her brother has always loved her. If he knew you were here in the world, he would have found you somehow and taken you with him because Charles Xavier has always done good work for the world. Hearing all this, Cassandra becomes emotional. Wolverine tells Deadpool to take off Juggernaut's helmet from her head because he wants to give her another chance to live. Deadpool says, if I remove her helmet, she will kill both of us. Wolverine says, no, she will not kill us now because I trust her. Hearing this, Deadpool removes the helmet and as Wolverine said, it happens. Cassandra changes for the moment. She does not kill them, but tells them that the monster is coming and will destroy everything. Before it arrives, you should run away and return to your universe. At this, both ask Cassandra how they can get out of here. Cassandra shows them a puppet and says, many years ago, there was a powerful magician here. I killed him and kept his sling ring, which can open a portal to anywhere. Saying this, Cassandra opens a portal. Deadpool and Wolverine jump into the portal without delay and come straight to their universe. After they leave, we see Cassandra go straight to the man who shot her. That man is still alive. Cassandra asks him why he shot her. He tells her that Paradox of the TVA told him to do this. He told me that if I kill you, he will take me out of this world. Hearing this, Cassandra gets enraged and opens a portal. She goes straight to Deadpool's universe to kill Paradox because Paradox was there, as he was going to blow up her universe with his Time Reaper machine. Cassandra also follows Deadpool and Wolverine. She comes close to Paradox and starts reading his mind, which reveals the Reaper machine to her. Seeing this, Cassandra gets an idea. She thinks, with the help of this machine, I will slowly destroy all the universes and timelines, leaving only one world remaining where I can easily rule. To execute her plan, she heads straight for the Time Reaper machine. This is also seen by Deadpool and Wolverine. So both of them try to stop her, but she knocks them both down in one blow and leaves to complete her mission. After this, Deadpool and Wolverine go straight to Paradox. They ask him how they can stop Cassandra. Paradox tells them that they can't stop her because she is much more powerful than them. But yes, we can stop that machine. There are two wires in that machine. If they are joined together, it will cause a massive short circuit. Not only will the machine be destroyed, but Cassandra, who operates it, will be finished as well. But Paradox also tells them that whoever does this will also be killed. Due to the short circuit, the machine will explode violently and the resulting blast will destroy everything. Hearing this, both of them say nothing will happen to them because they have the power to heal again. Paradox says, no, this machine is very powerful. 
Whoever causes the short circuit between the two wires will turn to ashes and never recover. Despite this warning, both of them go under the machine to join the wires and create the short circuit. There, Deadpool pushes Wolverine into the room and locks him there. This way, Deadpool will handle the task alone and Wolverine's life will be spared. When Deadpool pulls one wire and takes it to the other wire, he faces a lot of difficulty. But soon, Wolverine breaks the gate and comes to Deadpool. He holds one wire with one hand and the other wire with the other hand. As the two wires touch, a massive short circuit occurs. The machine is destroyed by a powerful blast. This also kills Cassandra, while Deadpool and Wolverine are also killed. After a while, we see that Deadpool and Wolverine are back to life and fine again. Seeing this, Paradox asks them how they survived. They say, if one of us had done this alone, it might have been the end. But since we did it together, the explosion had a half and half effect on both of us. So we survived. We healed ourselves. By short-circuiting the machine, we finished everything. When Cassandra arrived, she brought 100 versions of Deadpool with her. They fight and defeat all of them. After the machine and Cassandra are destroyed, Hunter B-15 comes with her guards, who come and arrest Paradox because he created a machine to destroy the universe. Hunter B-15 tells Paradox, now the TVA will take action against you. You will be punished. She adds, as for Deadpool and Wolverine, I have a lot of respect for them because they saved other universes. So, she says, you can leave now and live your lives in peace. Deadpool and Wolverine decide to live together like a family. Later, Deadpool, Wolverine, and all their friends enjoy life together. They start living happily and everyone is content. In the post credit scene, Deadpool breaks the fourth wall once again and speaks directly to the audience. He says, Cassandra didn't kill the Human Torch on my orders. What Human Torch said against Cassandra, calling her a witch, a hairless witch, all those insults were heard by Cassandra through the camera and she killed him. So I had no part in the Human Torch's death. Don't misunderstand me. That's it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe to watch more interesting recap videos. Thanks for watching.